Welcome to Flex on My Ex, the show where three hopefuls look for love while they're hating ass exes watch. Each hopeful will compete to win the heart of one single, but their former lovers will be lurking every step of the way to try to shake things up as they try to lock it down. Our single on this episode is Jacqueline. She's an influencer looking for a man of substance. Will one of our hopefuls be the man of her dreams or will their exes turn it into a nightmare? I'm your host, Jazzy, and we are about to find out. What are you looking for in a man? So I work in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. and I need a guy who is not jealous and insecure, because I kind of get a lot of attention, I guess you can say. You so, think? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you need somebody confident. Yeah. And who's not jealous. Right, and who's not hiding their exes. Well, <laughs> they can't hide them today, because they right here. All right, hopeful number one, talk to me. I'm Clay Vashti Love, I'm 23 years old, and this is my ex-girlfriend. Hi, I'm Jamila, and uh, we broke up because he has a really hard time keeping to himself. He's a frat boy, and he likes to use his fraternity activities to get close to other girls. Good to know, okay. What do you have to say about that? It's networking. <laughs> networking oh, no. is Okay, I don't want things to get too hot right now. Okay, hopeful number two, Philip, what's going on? Tell me why you're here. Tell me who your ex is. I'm here for her. I'm 22, <laughs> and my ex is Mo. Tell me why you guys broke up. Philip doesn't party. He doesn't drink. He doesn't really do anything other than just play video games. You wouldn't even compromise just going out for a night of fun with her? All right, hopeful number three, what's going on? Jalen, how you doing? My name is Ryan with an I, and this is my ex, Miranda. Tell us why you broke up. Well, you know, he likes to be in his phone, scrolling, tapping, sliding in DMs. So, you know, he might not be the best to trust. Hold on, first, she cheated on me. Whoa, oh, out the gate! Switch that up real quick. You cheated on him? Guilty. Let them get caught, we don't get caught! <laughs> what? <laughs> in round one, Jacqueline will ask the hopeful's questions that will help her get to know you guys a little bit, but here's the fun part. The hating ass exes get to intervene and hold up a yay or nay card. You ready? Let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> so I'm all about honesty and owning up to our past mistakes. So what's the biggest lie you guys have ever told your ex? Yeah, you're up first, Clovassier. <laughs> I only lied to my ex-girlfriend one time. And that one lie was me saying, oh, I'm at work, I'm busy, I'm in school, I'm doing this and I'm doing this. But really, I was planning a surprise party for her birthday. So it's true. He really did do that. He knew that I, I loved exotic animals. Mm -hmm. So he surprised me with a bunch of boa constrictors and snakes and I was like crying. I was so Aww. happy. I love <laughs> animals too. You still got that, that exotic animal connect? <laughs> okay. All right, Philip. tell me how you lied to your ex. My homies hit me up. They said, let's go out. I got tickets. Let's go see a concert in LA downtown. And I told her I was just hanging out with the boys and I was at a concert and she didn't know that. Is that true? Yay. Okay. I'm just now finding out about Terrible. this, but it's fine. You lying to go to concerts, bruh? Lie about some good <laughs> Okay, Ryan, tell us how you lied, because I know you did. Like, I'm a straightforward dude, so I think the biggest, like, lies is, like, when she tries to crack jokes. I'm like, <laughs> I was, oh, I don't want to be mean. <laughs> so, and, you know, it was a, it's a genuine laugh. It's, you know, ha, ha. Right. I'm pretty funny, so I don't know what he's talking about. But yeah. he's pretty honest, so I'll give him a yay. Okay. He's pretty honest. OK, moving on to round two. The exes will present each hopeful with a piece of produce they feel most resembles their member. Then the hopefuls have to put the condom on the phallic fruit or vegetable and demonstrate their best safe sex skills. Jamila, you're up first. Oh God, do I have to look? <laughs> Be careful because he will destroy you. My uterus! Yes, exactly. Ready? I'm ready. Set! Protect! Okay, so what I'm gonna say is I believe in monogamous relationships, so we don't need those. He, you saw how quick he threw them out? I oughta beat you upside the head with this damn eggplant. <laughs> so how do, you, how do you feel about this? I haven't had sex in nine months. So, uh... <laughs> Girl, be careful. Like, just, I'm just saying, be careful. Because you probably got an STD. All right. All right, Mo, what did you pick for Philip? Here we go. All I'm saying is, the banana peel stays on. <laughs> so, Philip, how do you feel? Do you feel like this is accurate? I mean, I like that it has a little slight curve to it. 
All right, let's see if you like rubbers. We're gonna see how you can put this on, okay? Ready, <laughs> set, protect! Okay, uh, yep. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm busting the banana on this. Oh, oh, bro. <laughs> you know that happens when you have a little extra skin on there. <laughs> For someone who hasn't had sex in nine months, did this turn you on just a tad? Not at all, no. Because it's uncircumcised? I only had one that was like that before. So. Like that. <laughs> Miranda, I saw you back there chuckling, so I know this is gonna be good. Let's bring it on out. Oh, bro. Are you nervous? Are nah, because she hates. She likes to hate, so I'm excited to see what this is. Right here. I don't hate. I enjoy. With or without the warts on it? Nah, none of that. Yeah, you can, you can trim okay. that off real quick. Ready, set, protect! Look at him. Come on. He's pretty good. It's not even on all the way. That's good. You need room. You need room at the tip. That's almost to the balls, though. Sometimes the balls need to be in there, too. You like that? That was a nice, strong, sturdy, like, I yeah. don't know, it was nice. <laughs> Time for round three. In this final round, we are searching for skeletons in each hopeful's closet by asking the person who knows them the best and the worst, their exes. Jacqueline, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> so trust is super important to me, and there's no bigger breach of trust than creeping on people close to me. So exes, did he ever flirt with your guys' friends? In other words, was he a total flirt or a one-woman dessert? You ready? Jamila, you're first. Total flirt. And this is part of the reason that we broke up. Because one of my best friends sends me a message, a screenshot actually, of her DM, where Clevossier <gasps> slid in and said, hey, do you mind posting a picture of me in your story? I'm trying to get more followers. He sends her a shirtless picture of him Bruh. in his like football <laughs> boxer pants. Bruh. And then she sends it to me like, did you tell him to ask me this? Because he told me that it was okay. <laughs> okay, so should I start explaining now? So, um, I'm a fitness model. And uh, I was trying to market myself to different crowds, right? No, no, no. Hold on, bro. Let's go. Come on, <laughs> you sound so thirsty. All right, Mo, let's see your answer. Okay, one woman deserve. I can I can I can kind of see that. When I'm with someone, I'm with them. Okay. I like that. All right, Miranda. <laughs> let's see what you got. Okay, one woman deserve again. No, because you were looking nervous before. Don't try. <laughs> like I said, no, right hold now. up. Hold on. Like, like when I have my eyes on somebody, I like them. All right, last question. <laughs> Opening your heart to someone is always scary. So I got to know if these guys are worth the risk. Exes, if you had the chance to date your ex again, would you? Yes or no? Exes, you guys have all your answers? Jamila, you're up first. No. <laughs> no? Is that a crying or, or crying it's a, laughing? It's a crying laughing oh. face. <laughs> you know, dating him, it was fun. It was like I was dating my best friend. All right, Mo, what do you have? No, with a heart. Philip was always a great guy. Mm -hmm. I just feel like our personalities were very different from each other. Oh, how do you feel about that, Philip? No, I feel good. I got no hard feelings with Mo or anything. It was just love. All right, Miranda, what do you have? Yes, really, why? He's a good guy and he's really fun. You always have like a blast with him and very spontaneous. So based on what you've seen, what, what can you tell us, the good and the bad about these three hopefuls? So hopeful number one, I mean, the eggplant was pretty out there. It made its statement and it's non-condom fitting way. Hopeful number two, you and your ex seem to have like a nice relationship, which is like cool, it seems like. And um, hopeful number three, you seem understanding and you don't seem like the jealous type. And your ex is beautiful, by the way. You guys nervous? A little bit. <laughs> I've had my hands like this for like five minutes. All right, Jacqueline. <laughs> Who do you think flex on their ex the best? Um, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she don't even know my name. <laughs> hey, I won though. All right, hug it on out. Oh, Clap it up for these two.
Okay, don't get too close. You just met. A huge congrats to Jacqueline and Ryan for finding their next. Would you like to be a contestant on Flex Summer X? Sound off in the comments. Exclusively on MTV YouTube channel. Make sure you click over here to subscribe and see all the new episodes.